everyone. Hope everyone's having a great night. Uh, I just want to do a quick video on the blueprint effect. So this is an effect that I've been playing around with a bit in Lumion, uh, and I really want to bust it out for uh, one of the future projects that I do because uh, I just think that it's such an interesting effect, and it is a, a fairly simple effect. Uh, you can set it up in a matter of like maybe 30 seconds to a minute, but it can really give uh, the viewer of your animation this almost feeling of like, you know, the project progressing since you can actually keyframe it in phases. So I will show you how to do that quickly and just kind of what I sort of envision uh, the effect being used for. So uh, I just went into the uh, Villa Van Man example just because the clips are already set up. So I kind of like this clip. It's only uh, eight seconds long. Obviously, you can use one that's longer, but um, you just come into uh, your effects, go to Artistic 2, and you click on Blueprint. Now, when you first open it up, the whole thing is white. Um, but as you can see, if you drag the phase over, then everything starts to come kind of, uh, kind of come into focus there. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to drag this, make sure it's set at zero. We're going to keyframe this in. I'm going to drag it to like f maybe six seconds or so. Uh, and then we're going to create another keyframe and we're going to drag it uh, to the end. So if we hit play now, then basically what you get is like these grids and all these phases and things coming together. Uh, and then your video is done. And some part, a part that I really think is interesting about this is if you actually watch the people, uh, and I'm sure well, obviously if cars driving by anything like that, then all of the, like everything in the picture is moving. So I really, really like this effect. And as I said, this is one that I really just started uh, kind of play around with myself. I haven't used this in a, in, in a, uh, any projects for clients, but I am definitely going to be doing it in the future. Um, it, to me, this is just such a such an interesting effect. Like, um, because it'd be one thing if everything was coming in as sort of like a sketch uh, and it was all um, static, but the fact that uh, as these grids are coming in, everything's getting filled in, you can actually see like the people, the birds, all that stuff moving. Uh, I just think that it's really really cool. So. Uh, if you haven't uh, ever tried this effect, I recommend that you at least play around with it uh, because I think that there's some pretty cool stuff that you can do with it, even though it is uh, it is fairly simple. One last thing I will mention too is that um, you can also change the grid scale. Probably should have mentioned this before, but if you go to like here, then you can see like you can make the grid smaller, bigger. If you go all the way over, then it just kind of kills it. But yeah, you just kind of find the effect that you want. You know, maybe if you want it like that. So yeah. Um, that's all I wanted to show for this one. Uh, I do have a, a couple cool videos planned this week, but they are just taking a little bit longer to develop. Uh, so I thought I'd just make a couple of quick videos um, just to kind of uh, go through some effects that I've been playing around with and some really cool ones. So I uh, hope you all have a great night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.